What exactly is Uniswap? What sets it apart from other crypto exchanges? Also, what is this Uni token that has been skyrocketing in value? These and other questions will be addressed for our video today. It's vital to keep in mind that this is a more sophisticated issue that requires an existing understanding of how cryptocurrencies operate. If you're new to crypto, you might want to watch some of our prior videos to have a better understanding. The links to these videos are included in the description. Let's go watch. Welcome to Cryptic a channel that gives critical evaluation or analysis, especially in dealing with crypto. Everything regarding money, finance, investing, cryptocurrency, and blockchain-related topics, including ICOs, NFTs, and yield farming. Let's now get this party rolling. Uniswap is a decentralized exchange that doesn't need consent. It enables anybody to transfer Ethereum ERC-20 tokens without going through a dealer. What did I just say, exactly? Don't be concerned. Let us go and study this as a team. Let's first take a look at how a conventional cryptocurrency exchange, such as Binance or Coinbase, operates to see what makes Uniswap unique. To start with, conventional exchanges are centralized, which means that they are held by a corporation that has total command over the exchange and the computers that power it. KYC requirements, which stands for Know Your Customer, also apply to conventional exchanges. Before you can start trading on the exchange, you must first supply significant personal information such as your residence and tax ID numbers. Users must also transfer funds on these conventional exchanges to be able to trade. It's almost as if they're handing up control of their funds to the exchange. When customers want to purchase or sell a cryptocurrency on a conventional exchange, they place a buy or sell order. Each of those orders are documented in the order book of the exchange. A trade is carried out once a buyer and a seller have found each other. So that's how it works in a conventional, centralized exchange. Let's now discuss decentralized exchanges, or DEXs for short. The decentralized finance infrastructure includes DEXs. Decentralized finance, or also known as DeFi, refers to traditional financial services which have been decentralized with the use of blockchain technology, such as trades, loan services, and insurance. A DEX, unlike a typical exchange, now comprises a set of smart contracts distributed on a blockchain rather than a controlling corporation and centralized servers. In simple terms, it's a set of programmed rules that are carried out by a network of autonomous computers with no central control. You may also watch our past videos to understand and learn more about DeFi and smart contracts. Links are in the description. DEXs can't be regulated because they are not controlled by anyone and they're available to anyone. There's no need to create an account or have an identification process that requires you to provide personal information when utilizing a DEX. DEXs also let users to trade right from their wallets, allowing them to maintain complete control of their funds. The manner in which transactions are done and how price is decided distinguishes a DEX from a regular exchange. As I already stated, in a conventional exchange, buyers and sellers place buy and sell orders in the order book to express their price expectations. The bigger an exchange's order book and the more liquid it is claimed to be, the greater the number of buyers and sellers it has. In other words, finding a buyer and a seller would agree on a price and make a trade will become easier. Consider Meanwhile, a situation where there are just two buyers and two sellers on a certain exchange. Any trade would be extremely difficult to complete because it is doubtful that two parties would agree on a price. 
Since no deals can be conducted without liquidity, the exchange is effectively dead. Oh god, this is so hard. It is the equivalent of having a shopping mall with a small number of stores and customers. There isn't going to be much business done there. In fact, liquidity is such a key basis for assessing an exchange's quality that additional operations known as market makers are used by some exchanges. These market makers are always ready to purchase and sell, ensuring that the exchange has constant liquidity. DEXs, meanwhile, do not keep any user funds or maintain an order book. Liquidity pools are used to generate liquidity on DEXs. DEXs employ liquidity pools to perform buy and sell orders. Liquidity pools are a unified sum of funds invested by the general public. Liquidity providers or LPs are people who put money into liquidity pools. Liquidity mining is a method in which LPs receive a portion of the DEX's trading fees in compensation for the locked funds. Now that we've discussed the distinctions in how liquidity is given by conventional and decentralized exchanges, let's now discuss how the cost of a coin is set. A transaction is done on a conventional exchange when a seller and buyer establish an agreement over matching orders in the exchange order book. The coin's price is determined at that instant until another deal is made at a new price. To put it in another way, the existing price on the exchange is the price of the latest trade. On the other opposite end, a decentralized exchange does not possess an order book. Users trade within a liquidity pool rather than with one another. Rather than using the price from the previous trade, a statistical formula is applied. An automated market maker or simply known as AMM is the name given to this formula or algorithm. The value of coins on Uniswap's exchange is calculated using an AMM titled the Constant Product Market Maker Model. The x multiplied to y equals k formula is used in this AMM. This indicates that when trading Ether for DAI on Uniswap's Ether slash DAI liquidity pool, the number of Ether available multiplied to the number of DAI available must always equal a constant value. Let's take a closer look at this. Consider a liquidity pool with 10 ETH and 10,000 DAI. As shown utilizing the AMM model, the number of ETH multiplied by the number of DAI equals 100,000, which is our constant K. If I buy 1 ETH, the total amount of ETH in the pool will be reduced to 9. The concern now is how many DAI will it cost. To figure this out, consider our constant of 100,000 and divide it by the updated amount of ETH, which is 9. This gives us the updated die requirement for our pool, 11,111. To purchase 1 ETH, we'll need to pay roughly 1,111 die. As you've seen, the price is decided by the number of tokens you choose to purchase. It isn't determined by how much somebody else is willing to pay for it. Liquidity is maintained without the use of external market makers by utilizing the constant product market maker model algorithm, regardless of order size or liquidity pool size. This model makes purchasing the entire amount of a coin eternally expensive, placing a strain on larger orders. Let's say I wanted to buy 9F in our prior exercise. It would cost me 90,000 die to keep the 100,000 die constant, resulting in each F that costs 10,000 die. Rather than the 1,111 die cost to acquire just one F. Different DEXs with other AMM algorithms than what was used on Uniswap exist certainly. However, that discussion is outside the range of this video. So, if you think this video has clarified some things for you, please consider liking it and clicking that bell button to be notified of our new videos. Also, you may want to consider subscribing to a newer channel like us. It'll really help us out. Back to our video! 
Since we've finished studying DEXIS, we can dive deeper into Uniswap. Uniswap is a decentralized exchange built on the Ethereum network infrastructure. It's a collection of automated trading rules for ERC-20 tokens, which is the name referring to a specific type of Ethereum token. With nearly a million users trading on it every week, Uniswap seems to be the most famous decentralized application, or DAP, on the Ethereum platform. Furthermore, Uniswap is among the most branched projects in the DeFi domain, which means that its code is used to create new apps. In November of 2018, the debut version of Uniswap was released. The V1 version of Uniswap allowed users to trade any ERC-20 token for Ether and vice versa. In May 2020, V2 was launched allowing ERC-20 tokens to be traded directly with each other without needing to first trade using Ether. V3 was introduced in May of 2021, allowing for a more efficient use of funds for whoever decides to provide liquidity to Uniswap. In other words, the funds you invest in the liquidity pool can be squeezed for more juice. Trading has also been more efficient, resulting in lower trading expenses when compared to V2. Concentrated liquidity, active liquidity, range orders, flexible fees, and other modifications will not be covered in this video. So, how do we actually operate or use Uniswap? To begin, you should have an Ethereum wallet, such as MetaMask, that can connect to other Ethereum applications. After you've installed MetaMask on your computer, go to uniswap.org, click Connect Wallet, then pick MetaMask, and you're now ready to trade any Ethereum ERC-20 token on the list. Take note that there are a lot of people trading on Uniswap at the same time. As a result, the price displayed while you place your order may differ from the price charged when the item is fulfilled. Slippage is the term used for this phenomenon. Before canceling your order, you can set a limit on how much slippage you're willing to accept. Slippage occurs because every trade on Uniswap is essentially an Ethereum transaction. It may require some time for the transaction to be published and confirmed on the Ethereum network. The price might just have changed by the moment the transaction is confirmed. Uniswap supports a wide range of ERC-20 tokens because of its decentralized and unregulated nature. In reality, almost anyone may design their own token and register it on Uniswap for free, resulting in a diverse range of tokens as well as a significant number of scam coins. Even if a coin is listed on Uniswap, it doesn't automatically mean it's genuine or valuable. Unlike a regular exchange, which performs significant background checks and research on each coin before adding it to its platform, Uniswap, on the other hand, does not. So, as they say, it's up to you to do your own study and determine whether or not you would like to invest in a particular coin. Last, let us discuss the Uni token a coin that has progressively risen to the top of the cryptocurrency rankings. Uniswap launched the Uni token via an airdrop in September 2020. Uniswap users who had previously utilized the service were given 400 Uni tokens as a gift. Despite the fact that the Uni token has seen a significant increase in value since its launch, it was never intended to be used as a currency. It's technically a governance token, allowing anybody who has it to have a say in development decisions and vote on them. You get more voting power if you have more tokens. The plan is for the Uniswap personnel to progressively withdraw their involvement in the project, leaving the project's management to the token holders. So, how did a token that wasn't supposed to have any value end up at the peak of the cryptocurrency rankings? The price of Uni appears to reflect how valuable people feel Uniswap would be in the future. As a result, they could be prepared to pay to be a part of the organization's ruling body. 
It's not uncommon in the cryptocurrency industry for coins that were never intended to be used as a financial asset to become extremely valuable. You should be the one to determine whether or not being a member of the Uniswap ruling body is worth the cost of the Uni token. Okay, okay. Get the place ready. No! To conclude and end this video, we hope you've figured out what Uniswap is. It's a decentralized exchange that lets users swap any ERC20 token without the need for an intermediary. Acquired a lot of knowledge from this? Check out our other relevant videos from our channel. Don't forget to subscribe and click the notifications bell so you won't miss any of our videos and share this video with any friends or family members who might find it useful. Until next time!